Hi everyone, I'm Elise and today we got something very exciting going on. So I've just fed the minis and they're eating, it's about 9.30am. So this is going to be the last time I feed them for a very long time in this stable block. So what's happening is I've obviously had them at home for about two years now and I take them almost every day to a rented field and back um, because I'm not allowed to leave them there unfortunately, there's no stables for them they do have to come home at the end of the day and that is absolutely exhausting so I've been looking far and wide for an own private yard to rent and very kindly someone has offered me the sweetest little yard to rent and um, yeah today they shall be moving it's been about a month since we were first offered it and it's been a long time sorting things out because although the yard is really nice and safely fenced and it has two big stables the doors have to be changed we have to move bedding in move hay and of course anything that's up here at this stable block has to be moved today. So the plan is to go down, put new doors on and make their beds, clean anything out that needs cleaning and just get the whole place prepared. And then at 5 p.m. we will bring the minis down and put them straight into the stables with their feed for the night. Now they're very used to having stables that are obviously interconnected and they're constantly with each other all the time, touching and everything. Um, so these new stables, have got a half wall between the two stables but it's obviously a proper horse height stable so they won't be able to see each other or touch each other through the stables they'll be able to see each other over the doors but I am mildly concerned about how they're going to react to that I don't think Safi will be too happy about it but we will see how it goes so yeah I'm gonna muck out for one of the last times here this morning and get going Even though the minis will not be going back in their stables tonight, I still mucked out their stables because I don't want to leave it dirty and it's just best to have everything cleaned out. And once I was done cleaning up the home yard, we made our way over to the new place. This is what the yard looks like currently with the four foot doors for normal sized horses and this is just the front paddock. There's another same size paddock just behind there. First thing we had to do was put the new doors on. So I had these specially made for by um, someone I found on Facebook and he did them really cheap. They're really nice heavy duty doors. They're about 75 centimeters including the step. So what I'm doing here is I'm just using airbags to pump it up to make sure it doesn't hit the floor. And then my dad here was screwing the hinges on for me. Okay. Once the hinges were on, we then moved on to the locks. And here's the finished product. I think they look really, really smart and super tiny, which is very cute. Once that was done, I moved on to setting up the stables ready for the minis. I've decided to use Bed Down Lavender, which is a small flake shaving rather than my usual Orbeos because it's easier to get a hold of. The Orbeos tends to be out of stock all the time because it's grown in a different country and it just smells so good. And I've always wanted to have the minis on proper shavings, but I do not have a muck heap at home. So Orbeos is the best that produces the least waste of all the beddings that I know about. So this was really satisfying to make and it smelled absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. 
The one downside to these small flake shavings is they are quite hard to break apart. You would be definitely better off with a metal fork to get in there or just kick them really hard, which is what I'm doing here. Once it was all broken apart, I just fluffed it all up and made my banks and then I was done. We then went home and we went to pick up the minis ready to go to their new home. Then we put them in their stables for the night. Now these stables are absolutely massive as you can see. I'm pretty sure they're bigger than a standard 12x12 and the minis are used to being an 8x8. So they're incredibly spoiled and very lucky. Now the one downside is obviously the stables are split, they can see each other over the doors but it's obviously a bit scary for them because they're used to touching each other 24-7 and Nico tried to make his great escape, he is a door jumper so I did expect that, nothing to worry about, it just scared Safi a little bit the noise. I stayed with them for quite a while, maybe about an hour and they were soon settled and once I turned the lights off they definitely settled for the night then. They're only babies, so Nico's one and a half and Safi's rising three, so it's a lot. They've been at home with me all the time in the same routine since they were foals, so moving to a new place and being separated like this is scary. I then change their rugs to their nighttime rugs. Now they're all as snug as a bug in a rug. And as you can see, they're already a lot calmer now and starting to get used to their new surroundings. Once they were all settled for the night, I left them there to sleep and I went home. Hi everyone, I've just made it to the new yard. This is day one, the minis stayed in their stables last night so that's a good thing because they were quite nervous last night about being split up but we're gonna get going feed them this morning and let them out in their paddock for the first time and i can't wait to see them run around and graze all day so i'll see you in a minute How did you do, Nikki Moo? Hi! They still get the same feed as normal, so I start off with Alfalfa Amazing from Emerald Green Farms.
Then I use the Emerald Green Farm Alfalfa pellets. And Pura Beet from Simple Systems. I add some Micronized Linseed. And Safi gets the Progressive Earth Pro Balance supplement and added glucosamine Nico gets the Progressive Earth Pro Young Stock supplement with some glucosamine as well then they both get a few scoops of spearmint Once I finished making their feeds and they've eaten their breakfast, I took their rugs off and today was lovely and warm so they didn't have to wear anything out in the field. And Safi is her usual bratty self and very anxious to get out of her stable this morning. But first she wants a cuddle as usual. And of course I'd take Nico's rug off and get him ready to go out as well. That is me telling Safi off for climbing the wall and she knew straight away that she was in trouble because she came straight over to me and she was so happy to get out. And they were so excited to be in this little yard area this morning that they didn't seem to notice I opened the gate to the actual field. It took me a good five minutes to persuade them to come and look that there's an entire open gate for them to go through into a bigger field. They clearly share the same brain cell because it was the most obvious open gate ever. Nuni, come on. Over here. Nuni. I ended up actually having to usher them and herd them towards the gate. But when they finally noticed it, no, oh my the gosh, were they happy. We For such little horses, I've never seen their legs move so fast in their life. And I will let you enjoy watching them run around for a bit.
Once I was done procrastinating by watching them for a good 20 minutes run around non-stop, I had to start mucking out. Of course they made a bit of a mess this morning because it was their first night so they were doing a lot of box walking but yeah nothing terrible and I just do the same that I do with my Orbeos bed this because it's a small flake shaving it's very easy to sift with the same fork that I use for the Orbeos bed so I just sifted everything out and removed the wet and remade the beds again. And these are both the beds finished. There is nothing more satisfying than a banked up shavings bed. I then went to get their hay for the night. And they don't need as much hay as normal because they are full on grass by the end of the day. So I'm saving a lot of money by having more turnout which is great. went to check on them quickly in the field once I was done to make sure that they were all happy and settled and Nico definitely was enjoying himself out on this lovely lush grass rolling about And Sappy really enjoyed just standing in the sun, enjoying the warmth on her back. And then I went home and left them to it. At about 4.30 I went back again to bring them in for their dinner. And they were very, very good and they actually followed me straight into the yard area. Now of course it's the first time that they've gone to bed here, so they were a bit confused about which stable's which. So I did have to kind of persuade them into the correct stables. The step up is also confusing them a little bit. As you can see, Nico jumped over it here. And Safi being Safi is in completely the wrong place. She lives in a world of her own and does not care about what anyone else wants from her. She did go to follow me in the stable, bless her, but the step was just stressing her out today for some reason. She did it the day before absolutely fine and in the morning she came out over it, but she seemed to have a bit of a problem with it. I had to go and get her head collar because she just wasn't feeling it, so we had to do some work on that. It took me a while to persuade her, but she's a bit of an opinionated pony. But yeah, we got there in the end with gentle encouragement.
Your bag wasn't that bad. Yeah, it's food. I then put their rugs on for the night and got their fruities which they have every night before bed. It's part of our routine and it helps them to know that I'm going to be leaving and it's bedtime for them. Overall I think they had an absolutely wonderful first day at the new yard and I couldn't be happier with the setup. Of course there are bits that will need adjusting over time but I'm sure we're going to make lots of happy new memories here and I can't wait to make more videos for you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!